does my does my vest make me look smart? I'm wearing my vest because uh, today uh, we're talking about uh, television and film terminology you should know. Hi, welcome back to Dan Warner Media. If you already have subscribed, if you have not subscribed, then welcome to Dan Warner Media. My name is Dan Warner, and today we're going to be talking about television and film terminology you should know. We're going to start with uh, something that uh, I love to hear when I book a job, and that is um, call time. The first term is call time, and uh, some of you know what this means, some of you don't. If you don't know what it means, it means it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. Call time just means that's what time you're supposed to be on set, call time. Now, uh, I know some people have already skipped through th this portion going, oh, I know what call time means. I don't need to hear anything else he has to say about this. Well, I will tell you, uh, call time is very important, and being on time is very important. And, and not just being there for your call time, but being there before your call time. Here's why. So you get a call time, you book a job, yay. Uh, your call time is uh, 7 a.m. So you think, well, it takes me about 30 minutes to get to wherever I'm going. They'll give you a map. Um, and so if I'm supposed to be there at 7, I should leave at 6.30. <laughs> no. First of all, I have always, always, always in my career... Whenever I got a call time, I always put it, believe it or not, one hour before the call time. In other words, if my call time is at 7, I, in my mind, think, well, I need to get there at 6. Here's why. There is, listen, first of all, uh, let's talk about, uh, we're going to go back for a minute. Let's talk about crew call. Crew call is another term. And we'll get back to call time in a second. But crew, crew call is another term, and that is the crew that sets up the lights, the sound, the cameras, uh, the, the background, the setting, all the people that are in charge of making this whole production look good and sound good. Their call time, if your call time is 7, their call time is probably 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. So their call time is much earlier than yours, and they work, uh, oh, I don't know, way harder than you do physically to put this whole thing together, whether it's a commercial, television show, a film, doesn't matter. The crew works their ass off, and, excuse me, their call time is always way before yours. So, when it comes time for the director to say action, the last thing that they want to be waiting on is the actor, the talent, the actor. Don't ever, 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 ever make them, ever make them wait for you. They should never wait for you. You should be ready. If you're not ready, it should be because your hair and makeup's not done, and that's the hair and makeup department's uh, concern. Uh, something's wrong with your wardrobe. That's the wardrobe department. But you should be so ready way before they yell action. So being, um, being on time, um, that's, that's why I wanted to talk to you about crew call, because here is a bunch of people who are working their butts off to try to make this thing happen. And if the actor is lagging and they're like lollygagging around or they're not there on time and everyone has to wait for them, it's, uh, man, it's, uh, it's never good. It's always be on time. So let's go back. So uh, back, getting back to call time. So if my call time is at 7 o'clock, uh, I want to be there. I want to be pulling into... Um, uh, what they call crew parking. Uh, that's another. That's another term. Um, crew parking, and it's a little mis. It's a little misguiding at first because you think, well, I'm not the crew. I'm the actor. 
Where is actor parking? Actor parking is always with crew, at crew parking. So when they say go to crew parking, it's like, well, I'm not part of the crew. Yeah, when it comes to parking your car or your motorcycle or your RV or, you know, your horse, whatever you came on, um, you're parking in crew parking. I'm <laughs> I made it. I got to tell you the story. So uh, my very first job, my very first job was a commercial. And I didn't know what crew parking meant. I thought, well, it, we're filming at Paramount Pictures. Uh, no, we're filming at Universal. So we're, <laughs> we're filming at Universal Studios. And so I know that I'm supposed to be there at 9 a.m. So I'm driving my Honda that I paid $2,500 for, bumper falling off. And I pull up. Uh, to Paramount Pictures because I read the call sheet and it said, you know, we're, you know, your call time, your call time is 9 a.m. So I thought, well, I better be there and we're filming at, Par at Universal, so I better go to Universal. That's what I thought. Well, it turns out Universal Studios has uh, limited parking for a, a, a bunch of people. Like if everybody who was doing projects was parking on their lot, they wouldn't have any parking. Anyway, there is a place called crew parking that was off site that was about mm, half a mile away and everyone parked in there and then you got in a van and then you went into Universal Studios. But I didn't know what crew parking meant and I thought, well, that's for the crew. I'm not the crew. So I drove my Honda up to the gate and asked the guy, I said, hey, I'm doing a, a commercial for Texas Utilities. And the guy's like, uh, what's your name? I said, Dan Warner. And he goes, uh, I don't see you on the list. Now, this is, <laughs> this is maybe my best story ever. I'm a brand new actor. This was over 20 years ago. Here's how, <laughs> here's how stupid I was. And here's how arrogant. In my, d during my first acting job, this was my very first acting job, I pull up Dan Warner he goes, you're not on the list. And I said, well, check again. Uh, and he goes, no, Mr. Warren, uh, you're not on the list. I said, it's, it's Warner. And he says, yeah, okay, you're not on the list. And I said, these words came out of my mouth. I said, well, they can't do it without me. <laughs> I actually said, they can't do it without me. Well, it turns out they probably could do it without me. There was probably a thousand actors that could have done what I did that day. Anyway, the poor guy at the, the, the guard tower goes, they can't, like, he's like, okay, he's arrogant enough, uh, he must. So they let me on the, on the lot, which they should not have done. They should have said, well, call, you better call somebody because your name's not on the list. They let me on. I drive to, and I look and I find, oh, I'm in, uh, oh, I'm on Studio 16. So I drive to Studio 16, uh, or, or uh, the, uh, the, the big, um, uh, yeah, Studio 16. So I get there and I don't know where to park. There's nowhere to park because I'm not supposed to be there. So I park just somewhere where there's no parking. And I thought, well, someone there will clearly tell me where to go. So I go in to, uh, to the giant studio and uh, I walk in and I find the person who I'm supposed to check in with. And I said, I said, I go, look, I go, I don't know where to park. I park just right outside. And um, is that okay to park there or should I move it somewhere else? And they said, you did, you did what? I said, I'm parked. They said, didn't you park in crew parking? And I said, no, I, I parked right here. And they're like, yeah, you need to go get in your car and you need to go, I'll give you a map. You need to drive off the lot and go down to crew parking and there's a van waiting there and they'll bring you in. So I had to go back outside, get in my car, drive right past the same guy who I told they can't do it without me. I drove to crew parking, a van was there, I got in the van and drove back to the lot. You know, the guy looking at me as he waved and I'm like, yeah, I'm that 
dumbass that said they can't do it without me. So, crew parking. <laughs> it turns out there is a place for you to park and it's called crew parking. Uh, I did not plan on telling that story today, but um, wow, yeah, it's a good one. So that's how uh, stupid and arrogant I was on my very, very first uh, commercial. So um, crew parking is where you park your car when you get your call sheet, which is tells you everything. Uh, the call sheet is another piece of nomenclature. It tells you everything, who the director is. It tells you what time your call time is. It tells you what time the crew uh, call time is. Um, so uh, you get uh, the, the crew call, you get your call, and you get where crew parking is, and they give you a map. So um, don't be late. Always, oh, that's the other thing. So uh, your call time, if your call time's at seven, uh, then you want, you've, usually crew parking is not <laughs> where you're filming. So you have to allot for getting in a van, driving to wherever the location is, whether it's on a, on a studio lot or somewhere else. So you've got to allot for that time, allow for that time. So um, just prepare if your call time is at 9 a.m., uh, prepare to be there at 8 a.m. And that way you can get in the van. And, and then when you get in the van and then you get to your location, then you've got to find the person who checks you in and all of those things. And you still have to go through hair and makeup. You still have to go through wardrobe and do all. There's a bunch of things you have to do. Now, there's a lot of waiting around. But again, it's better that you wait around than them wait around on you. Uh, I had a few other uh, uh terms that I was going to go over today, but this has gone on long enough and I'll save them for another time. If, if this information was helpful to you, which it should be because now you won't drive onto the lot and be super embarrassed because you're some sort of jack wagon who thinks they're doing a commercial for Texas Utilities and they should just park wherever they want. Um, hit the like button down there. Uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel, come on, man. What are you waiting for? This is, uh, this is pure gold. <laughs> you can't do it without me. You can't do it without me. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, uh, leave them in the question and comment section. Uh, wow, that was it. Um, I can't believe I told you that story. So what did we go over? Crew, uh, call time, crew call, uh, and, uh. <laughs> and yeah, and um, crew parking. Pretty important. I'm done. I'm going to go have a drink. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God.